These are the religion of Nepal. These are momos. I went on a momo hunt with my friend Ashish to find a variety of momos which would redefine the way travelers think of Nepali momos. This is a summary countdown of our top 12 momos in Kathmandu. So how many momos do you think there are in Nepal? Well, recently I went online and found an article that stated that there are over 10 different types of momos out there. That article belonged to my good friend Ashish of Honey Guide Apps. No way! How are you? I am good. <laughs> nice seeing you. So ready for the motorbike? Are my, are my jeans going to survive this? I hope so. We'll see. Not expected. <laughs> I'll leave a link to a playlist of our full Momo Hunt experiences down below. But wait till the very end to see what my and Ashish's favorite Momos were. That dust on my camera. Welcome to Kathmandu. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Paneer is uh, not exactly the kind of cheese like you know we used to uh -huh. in the West, but it's uh, cottage cheese. Uh, we don't eat cow meat, but we do eat cow meat. Okay. Should be showering in tomato sauce. So these are like chunks of paneer. Paneer, and then I'm thinking it's onions. Yeah, this, this sauce is really like salty. You eat it without the sauce, it's pretty subtle. But then, uh, you know, with the sauce, I think it gives it this perfect combination of subtle and uh, flavors. This is the commercial hub of Kathmandu. New road. There's a pork momo joint right here around the corner here. Uh huh. We could go there and then we could go eat the buff momos. How about that? Okay, you're gonna have to eat it though. Oh, yes, I will. I will. No, the challenge. challenge now we got this uh, deal then. We gotta find the parking spot though. He'll first. try the meat stuff and I'll try the veggie stuff. That no way <laughs> every viewer out there is covered. <laughs> New dish restaurant homely Chinese food. <laughs> Apparently these guys don't do half plates, so I'm gonna have to eat the entire plate. You're going down in two dishes. <laughs> They're really big on these uh, pork moments. Not many places serve uh, pork in uh -huh. Kathmandu. This thing is based on vinegar. Oh, I can smell that vinegar. Hot and dangerous stuff right here. So what you can do is you can basically put all this stuff in, in the soup. Uh -huh. to make it flavored. Oh. And the clear soup is also sort of Chinese. Yeah. This is the vinegar uh -huh. with uh, chili. Okay. It does have slightly uh, meaty flavor to it. So this is the uh, water that they use to cook the mangoes at the top. Mm -hmm. So all the flavor goes into the soup. So oh, and then it just drains sure. through the bottom. I'm gonna poke holes in it. Mm -hmm. Make sure that soup goes inside. It's very Chinese influence, this momo. Yeah. Except for the spices probably. Mm. Good? Yeah. Good? Like it? It's, I, it's perfect. It's a little vinegary, but that's that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of good. It's nice. So you have chicken momo, you have fish momo, you got veg momo, and chocolate momos. Mm -hmm. Wow, this looks like a flower. Yeah, it does, it does. You've had this before, Ashish. No, no, I've not. This almost feels like a sin that we're destroying the symmetry or the beauty of, of the it. beauty of the momo mm. oh Ooh. it's in within the layers mm -hmm. chocolate momos wow. <laughs> very gooey in my mouth yeah for dessert uh huh we'll probably get a little three but as a momo dessert this would be a five. You can so see the kua right there. The kua. It's almost like a paste, a, a thin paste, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they also put in some uh, coconut in there as flavor. Oh, you can see that? Yeah, the brown, brownish stuff is probably coconut. Oh. Okay, let's dig in. I was anticipating like sugary sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, yes, it's got the coconut. I've got the texture of the kua. I was anticipating a different dessert, I think, like mm -hmm. burpee. Uh, no, burfi they put a lot of sugar in there, but kua is not, it's just milk. It is very creamy and milky and I can taste the, the coconut, it tastes good. Absolutely big kua. Mm -hmm. mm.
This is a little upscale. This is nicer. We have two really amazing dishes that I've never seen before that you've never seen before. Uh, this one is your cabbage momo. So um, they actually wrap the, uh, the inner filling in cabbage. That's beautiful. It looks like a Swedish meatball wrap. And it also adds that bit of uh, juiciness to it. Uh -huh. Because uh, the, more than dough, the cabbage makes it a lot more juicier. We, did, we ordered the vegetarian one. The paneer so and veggie. paneer right? and vegetable. But they also serve it with chicken. Am I supposed to dip a whole lot more? A little side, side dip should work. Okay. Stick it up. There you go. One momo, one go, Christine. I told you. Because this stuff is good. Okay, mush it deeper this time in the sauce. Oh, look at that. There you go, one mama, one shot. There you go, that's the spirit. <laughs> you only get one mama per sh one shot per mom. <laughs> this is really good because it's got the, it's a lot more uh, juicy because of the cabbage. It feels clean going down, it feels light also. The momos never feel quite heavy. They do kind of feel like a snack. Very good. Very juicy. Those are green momos. So what they basically do is, um, it's based on flour, but they also put a lot of spinach uh -huh. in the flour before they uh, mix it. Okay. And uh, that, that, that's what it gives us, that's like the, uh, the greenish color. These are really, really, really green. Yeah. Whoa, that's chewy. Get that sauce in there. The spinach makes the dough slightly chewy. But other than that, you get a slight hint of spinach. Other than that, it's very similar to the usual dough. I think it's only this place, the Alice restaurant, that serves the cabbage and the, uh, the green mongoose. This is the, the Everest Momo Center, like basically the entire Tamil orders the Momo from here. It's like a really famous place and the Momos are like, you know, something right home about. So you, you, as you can see, there's meaty dumpling with a really nice soup with garnish and all. So these guys like they pioneered the whole thing. They place all over Kathmandu that serves these kind of Momos. That's a hunk of meat. <laughs> Alone has a lot of flavor now. There's a premium. Is that cilantro or? Mm. They only have the buffalo here. The buffalo. Only one type of. Momo. That good. Naran daiko masang Famous momo. They serve one of these uh, the buff momos. Uh, it's very similar to the Everest momo. Yeah. But let's give it a shot. It's really close there in terms of Everest momo, in terms in terms of the competition for buff momos. Oh yeah. And this is easy for travelers to find because yeah. it's right yeah. on the edge of. Like up on the Square. And they also have buff momos and cheese veg momos. How about we go for cheese veg momos? Nice. Yeah, the that, that, that's the sauce. Soybeans, mother, peanuts, oh. and lopsy. And what he says, the rest of them is a secret. As I said, like it's the sauce that really makes uh, momos, you know, really stand out. Whoa. Yes. Yes. This looks amazing. Okay, it does remind me a little bit of the Everest, Everest momos. Yes. yes. So this this one is like you know big on spices. I, I would not be surprised if this is uh, yak cheese. All that goodness. Come on. Yes. There you go. The cheese here is very good, it stands out, but I feel like it's got a richer taste. Yak cheese or even here? Oh, yak cheese. I really like it. And also, it's not as subtle as the paneer one. I want to say it's like a cross between American and cheddar. So we're here at La Trio. Uh -huh. And it, this place is famous for its chol momos. Uh -huh. So it's like basically a uh, bowl full of soup. Uh -huh. It's a like nice tasting soup. And they basically put the momo in there and bring it to you. This is perfect for a weather like this. Okay. So let's go in. Okay. That looks really good. Yep, it is, it is, it is. I'm it's like good. a tomato soup, right? Yeah. Oh. Tomato and a lot of spices. 
and with their cilantro on top. The big and cilantro, as I said. Mm. It's kind of spicy. It's got a nice full flavor. Mm. Um, I can see why this is good for like a cold night mm -hmm. because it does feel very warming. Like everything's gonna be okay. I'm glad you brought me here. This is a good call. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks crowded. It's really busy here. It's kind of like a small space. There's troll, momo wings, momo chai, momo. This one's the buffalo tandoori. And this one is uh, paneer uh, sandeko momo. That one's vegetarian for you. Oh, that looks That one's for me. Amazing. Sadeko. Sadeko. Yeah, sadeko is like sort of like, you know, the uh, slightly salted and mixed with like uh, oil and spices. Okay, so we've got the paneer. Paneer is uh, pretty popular as a momo filling. Oh, it's look at that chunk of onion. Nice. This really is kind of like having a vegetable salad. <laughs> So the Sinica Momo is probably the most Instagrammable Momo place in Kathmandu. I'd say it has yeah. to be. Yeah. yeah, I've never seen this before. Yeah. So with the with this barbecue sauce in there. So this one's a uh, kebab Momo. It's a fried Momo. Oh, is that the meat? That yeah, you know? that's the meat. Like that, oh. <laughs> Right there. This one's probably one of my favorites. The red meat, the crunchy uh, dough, the barbecue go together perfectly. Oh, this is the dough momo. Wow. <laughs> this should have all in. Yeah. One shot. That's what she should say. One shot. You only get one shot for one momo. <laughs> So most places serve this, uh, the closed version of momos, yeah. but uh, this is one of the few places which specializes in the, the open versions. So the better thing about the open momos is you can put a lot of uh, the sauce in there, and it's a sauce that really gives the momos its flavor. So they will actually give us about uh, three or four sauces. The peanuts, okay. a slightly um, sweet, Swedish, mm -hmm. that's the one based on vinegar, that's the one based on tomato, Mm -hmm. And that's the one based on chili. And those are open momos. Yeah, it's mostly cabbage, uh, carrots. You're saying with this you could put four different types? Oh yes, in one momo. Be that. Oh, it's got sour. So I have sweet, sour, spicy, but I think sweet again. All going into, going into my mouth right now. And I think the trick is, that all of the flavors just hit your mouth at different parts or at different parts of your mouth mm -hmm. or tongue at the same time. Kind of like, what were you saying? Mouthgasm. <laughs> A mouthgasm, exactly. Man places to like really upscale places, and so Momo is sort of like uh, one food that cross, uh, crosses like classes, crosses neighborhoods, and something that sort of like brings uh, the Nepali people together. It goes beyond uh, like economic or ethnic or all the divisions that are that present in our society. Everybody loves. Momos. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out Ashish's website, Honey Guide Apps. For more in mountaineering and trekking services, let me know in the comments below how many of these momos have you tried or what momos you'd recommend to this list. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun, and may the momo be with you.